continuing with uh, simplifying algebraic expression I want to do four things today adding uh, subtracting multiplying and dividing algebraic expression so before I uh, go into that let me explain one concept you should understand clearly okay so let's start with number so 5 times 4 is of course 5 times 4 or you can also say this is 5 lots of 4 so this means 5 lots of 4 so this is same as 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 so 5 lots of 4 that's one thing that you should have 1 2 3 4 5 so this is 5 lots of 4 that's one thing that you should understand so the same thing is written as 5 times 4 but when it comes to algebra, this is one thing that you have to understand. If you write 5a, this has got two meanings. Of course, this is 5 times a. You can say, well, this is 5 times a. And this also means you got 5 lots of a. That means you're adding a 5 times. So this is what makes students... Uh, and difficulty in understanding algebra because they don't understand this fact you can write two ways so 5 times a is 5 5 times a 5a is 5 times a or 5 lots of a okay <clears throat> so let me show you the conf suppose if you have okay now before I do any explanation I'm going to just put some questions on the board uh, I want you to do this yourself so this is also a revision from yesterday's class okay I'm going to put some questions of adding multiplying uh, subtracting and dividing in different orders so if it is say 4a plus 5a okay what would happen if it is 4a times 5a okay so let me put the next number if it is say 4a take away 5a and the fourth is 4a 4a divided by 5a okay so I'm going to put a few more questions you can pause this video and try to do this yourself okay so let me put one more question so say what is uh, say 3a divided by 12 or oh, so 3a squared divided by 12a okay so 6 is 3a squared times 12a okay so pause this video and try to do these questions okay hopefully you have done these questions so from yesterday's lesson hopefully you should be able to uh, tell me the answers of this so this is how do you read this this is four times a sorry four lots of a you read it like this four lots of a plus five lots of a which is of course nine a here is this is you can't read four lots of a times five lots of a of course that is there but here we're going to read it like so we're going to expand this out so this means this is 4 times a times 5 times a so writing this in an order so this is same as writing 4 times 5 times a times a because when you're multiplying you can multiply in any order you can multiply this and you can simplify this so this is this is 20 times a squared a times a becomes a squared and that is 20a squared okay and here again you have to read like this, this is 4 lots of a take away 5 lots of a that is minus 1 lot of a okay so here again the same thing this is 4a a different of course this is divided so this is instead of this division you can also write it like this so here you're asking the question, here you have to distribute like this is same as us writing it's 4 divided by 5 
times a divided by a. Okay, what is a divided by a? Any number divided by any the same number, hopefully you understand that is going to be 1. Any number divided by the same number is going to be 1. So this is, and what is 4 divided by 5? If you don't know, this is the same as 8 over 10. You can use your calculator. So this is 0 0.8 times 1, which is 0 0.8. Okay, so for number 5, I'll distribute, I'll write this like this. So this is 3 times a times a divided by 3 times 4 times a. So now you have to look at different, you have to look at numbers differences. So this is 3 divided by 3. Well, 3 divided by 3 is 1. Okay, and this is a divided by a. That's also 1. So what will happen? So this becomes, so what is left is 1 times 1 is, so I can write, I can write like this. So this is 1 times, so because 3 divided by 3 is 1, times a over 4 times 1. And 1 times a divided by 4 is, times 1 is a divided by 4. Or you can write that like this, a over 4. So I put up these 10 questions, try to do this, uh, show the working as, as far as possible and uh, I'll get back to you once you have done it. I'll give you 5 minutes to do these questions. Okay, so hopefully you've done these questions. So this is, this is multiplying, so I'll uh, write it out like this, so this is 4 times m times 6 times m times n so let let's write the letter sorry numbers together and the letters together so this is 4 times 6 this is you can multiply and then you got m times m times m so directly writing the answer this is 4 times 6 is 24 and m times m times m is m to the power 3 so the final answer would be 24 m cube so here yeah, I'll directly write the answer hopefully you're smart enough so you can multiply the numbers and multiply the letters so well 2 times 4 is 8 and d times d is d squared so that's your answer well this is easy p times p is p to the power 2 here yeah, so I'll write it so you can write also like this 4 times 6 is 24 you got a times a you can multiply a times a is a squared and b is b so your final answer is 24 a squared b well this is easy this is 12 n squared okay so now for this you can say you can divide 6 by 2 which is 3 6 divided by 2 is 3 so your answer is 3a so here this is 4 divided by 6 and 4 divided by 6 is dividing both by 2 is same as 2 over 3 so here the answer is 2 over 3 mn and yeah, this is same as writing 2x over 3 or divided by 3. So let me write it like this. So this is 10xy divided by 2. So well, you can divide 10 and 2. So 10 divided by 2 is, well, that is 5. So this is 5xy. And yeah, let me write it out like this. So this would be. So this is 24 times A times B. And this is same as A times B. So well, A divided by A is going to be 1. And B divided by B is also going to be 1. So this is basically 24 times 1 times 1. 
that is 24.